Good evening, buddy. Welcome. This is Paul Flynn of MegiddoRadio.com and MegiddoFilms.org for the 20th of May, 2016. Just want to do a vlog on Salon Magazine's continuing promotion of pedophilia. Yes, you have not misheard me. While at times, Salon Magazine, when they talk about certain things like Calvin Klein's new ad and they deplore some of the disgusting things being shown there show their utter hypocrisy when they promote pedophilia. Last year, an article was published, and I talked about this in a vlog when it came out, around the time it came out, by a pedophile, a self-admitted pedophile by the name of Todd Nickerson. Now, and it says, I'm a pedophile, but I'm not a monster. This is from the 21st of September 2015 last year not only that and this is like i went through this i'm not gonna go through it again but if you type in into my youtube channel pedophilia I've talked about this how this is basically the fruit of the sexual revolution kinsey's perverted view of the world being foisted on everybody ultimately the issue is sin in man's heart but Sexuality in a human male and sexu sexuality in a human female wasn't just about these are the two books that Alfred Kinsey, the father of sexual revolution, published in the late 40s and early 50s, not only to legitimize homosexuality and other things, and that's what it did as well, but also pedophilia. Every form of sexuality was to be embraced and etc. and so on, and a lot of Kinsey's philosophy has been embraced by Todd Nickerson. Now, he doesn't mention, at least to my knowledge, Kinsey by name. So, not only that, but Salon Magazine have their top 10 best essays of the year. And where did this come? It came number 8. The top 10. A pedophile who's looking for sympathy. A man who has perverted fantasies about children. <sighs> uh, you know, and, and this is the direction it's going. God will give them over, and that's what Romans 1 talks about, unto vile affections. Talks about that in the second half of Romans chapter 1. But not only that, right? A video comes out a couple of days ago, back. Last Tuesday on Facebook, Slam P Salon puts this up on their Facebook and it gets, I think, over like over a million views. On YouTube, their YouTube channel is not so big. And let's watch this. Now, I skipped past the first 44 seconds. Unfortunately, he talks about his fantasies. It's too disgusting, in my view, to watch. Do so with discretion, and um, let's watch the rest of the video, and uh, let's comment on it. Out. I didn't abuse her because I knew the harm that it could cause. Also, you know, remembering the fact that I was abused, it's probably contributed to my own sexuality developing. I have have never sexually abused a child, and I never will. Now, I've gotten to know a lot of pedophiles online. My sense is that we're a much larger group than society actually thinks we are. The terms uh, pedophile and child molester are used interchangeably. This is wrong. A pedophile is, strictly speaking, somebody who has a sexual attraction to children. It's important to realize that not all pedophiles are child molesters and not all child molesters are pedophiles. When I first told all of my family, they had a hard time dealing with What? Not all child molesters are pedophiles? How does... It's just, are we living in a twilight zone? But anyway. With it, they had a hard time reconciling what they knew about me versus the, you know, what they thought they knew about pedophiles. I went through a, a severe bout of depression and, and social anxiety that lasted a few years. A lot of that was basically me coming to realize that I wasn't going to have a family. I wasn't going to fall in love with a woman and have a normal life. I'm resigned to the fact that, uh, you know, I'm basically going to spend the rest of my life alone. This is not something I chose. What person in their right mind would choose to be the most reviled sexuality in the world? My purpose is basically to go out. 
See how it's been made out to be this, it's another sexuality, he's a victim. And again, this is the Social Justice Warriors publish, putting forward, well, you know, it's the same thing, you know, with, with opposing something like, I don't know, homosexuality. And you say, oh, have you ever met a homosexual? Do you know what they feel, what they're going through? It's either right or it's wrong. Their feelings are irrelevant. And I hope that society still believes that pedophilia is wrong regardless of where they are. Yes, you are a monster, a monster of iniquity if you are having these perverted thoughts. And yes, for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God and this man needs to repent Place his trust in the Lord Jesus Christ and not be a fool in the eyes of the word of God, but be a fool in the world's eyes because the world trusts that which is foolish. It holds the truth and unrighteousness. Out and educate people, allowing people like myself to uh, to express themselves, to, to come out and uh, be open. Society makes it harder by persecuting us because a lot of us become fatalistic. We just start to think it doesn't matter what we do or say, they're gonna hate us anyway. We need to find some kind of middle ground where society and pedophiles can come together. We love kids, we want to protect them too, you know, and we're on society's side on that. Oh, give me a break. Uh, it's just like, it's this victimhood mentality of Look, Todd Nickerson, you are a pedophile. This is not... This is the problem, how we view these things in the world. These are vile, disgusting, depraved thoughts... And our thought life is important because eventually we, we will act it out. And it's not just because of that, but the Bible is clear as well. Whosoever lusts after woman in his heart has also committed adultery. So it is a violation of the moral law to lust after something that God has not given you. And the only way... To, that we are allowed to think sexually towards someone or to engage in a sexual relationship with somebody is in the institution or in the covenant of marriage. One man, one woman for life. And anything outside of that is sin. And this shows the lengths of the perverted logic of the leftists who hold the truth and righteousness and show their absolute despising of God. Now, sadly, that's not all. Not only is Salon sticking this video on Facebook, promoting this pedophile and trying to get everybody to feel sorry for him, and has put it on the top 10 essays of 2015, but Todd Nickerson, when he was on a... He's on this forum he's been on for a couple of years intelligent debate forum an article was written about it on medium.com by Reginald Harper and in it it links to a couple of quotations that Todd Nickerson himself signs off respectfully Todd Nickerson says at the start greetings my name is Todd Nickerson and I'm an out of the toy box ped I'm sure for pedophile and he says, down here, I have the part highlighted here, yes, I do believe we pedos have more empathy for children than the average parent does. And as such, I do believe that we are better judges on average than what children can and cannot handle. Wow, it doesn't just, just scream predator. He says, I also believe parents and society handicap children by labeling them as immature and irresponsible. Labeling them theory... It dictates that when told somebody long enough, people begin to believe it. With very few exceptions, people have a difficult time resisting 
societal expectations. Basically, oh, well, don't tell them that you can't engage in, oh, look, what's, what's this that they're talking about here? Oh, I'm after losing the page. But I'll get it here again. Oh, here we go. He says, once again, I've always maintained that we live in a different, more sex-positive society. And if we're legal to do so, I would engage in sex play with a child that I loved if she wanted it and initiated it. I will never deny that. He would act it out. You see, and I don't think people rely... Uh, people, I, I, I'm, I'm aghast I'm having to cover this issue. But if, if you look at these predators, they believe in their sick, demented, twisted mind that children are initiating it and actually are flirting. And in various interviews with pedophiles and all this, and they've shown some of the clips that they're referring to, the child is just saying hi, having a conversation. In their warped, twisted, perverted mind, they think, oh, well, he's flirting with me. And some of this, some of these clips are shown in the Kinsey Syndrome, Chris Pinto's film. Now, it links to this uh, here. He says, once again, I want to make sure I have all my referencing okay. He says, once again, I've always maintained that if in a, in a different, more sex-positive society, the kind of society that Kinsey wants to bring in, wanted to bring in, and and... Let's just give you a look at Kinsey's society. This is from Table 34 of Sexuality in the Human Male, published in 1948 by the Kinsey Institute. What does it say? Table 34 is called Examples of Multiple Orgasms in Pre-Adolescent Males. You have not misheard me. Orgasms in children as young as five months old up to 14 this is child abuse and and one of the reported they have the Kinsey Institute got their data from child predators and this is where the sexologists and all these kind of these perverts believe that children are sexual per, from birth this has been Paul Flynn, deeply disturbed, disgusted, and I pray, pray for revival, that people will turn from their filth, from their lust, and turn unto our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who is the author and finisher of our salvation. May God bless you all. Talk to you tomorrow on the radio show.